the next morning. Up and Adam, it's morning! So I guess on this in-game day is when we'll probably go and do the uh, guild graduation thing where Bob... Yeah, I'll save my... I'll save my adventure here, methinks. This is what we'll do. Time to go finally properly manage my inventory. I feel like it's been... It has been 3,000 years since I've been able to do it. Skirt Skirt was arrested for directly drifting on the Joy-Cons. Yeah, that's what we arrested that last Sir Skip for. Yeah, so Chat is just gonna keep on telling me this until I, uh, until I do the graduation exam, so... We may as well do it pretty soon here. So what Pokemon will I want to take for that? Probably like my strongest ones, right? Like I have Lin there if I bring like that Starly item thing for Bob. And I appreciate it, Kuzma. I do remember it being a being a tough battle. So I would for sure want to bring along um Where are you? Yeah, I think you're like one of my one of my strongest here. But who else is potentially strong? Like Lin's level 23, which isn't half bad there, you know? Um, only the hero and partner can come to the graduation? Really? I thought you could bring, like, a party. That's what I thought. Is that really the case? Maybe I'll just bring Lin along. Well, I'll do- I mean, there's Paul and Pauline, I guess. Um, don't think you can bring any members with you? Oh. Well, um, I'll save and go see really quickly, I suppose. That's what I suppose I'll do. Well, let's just go ahead and save the adventure at the watering hole. Imagine you, like, miss the blurb that says that you can save at the watering hole towards the beginning of the game, or, like, you're not paying attention, and you never know that you can save there and always think it's a part of the environment until the end of time. Imagine. I'm just gonna test it really quickly now that I've saved. It's fine, Forest. Ceremonia. Since this is our graduation exam, I started thinking that just the two of us should go. How about leaving behind the other team members? That way we can go as a pair. Okay. Okay, well, darn. Yeah, you actually did? That sounds like something that may well have been the case for me for one of my earlier playthroughs, though. I wouldn't exactly remember at this point. Wouldn't remember at this point. Um, so did I have any, uh... Any boxes? Um, always saved in the bed because you never knew. Sounds like something I'd do. Okay, I don't have any boxes right now. Alright! I'm gonna go store, like, almost everything. And then, uh... <laughs> I'll feel a whole lot better. I'll feel a whole lot better for sure. Kangaskhan storage. I would love to store a whole bunch of things, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, I'll take along a couple of those. Actually, I'll use the gummies here pretty soon. Take along a couple of those. How about just one heal seed? Oh, I never used the quick seed in a Temporal Tower. I thought I might, but I never did. Um, so I should take along... How about two Reviver Seeds? Two insert. I only have four Reviver Seeds left after that whole, uh, after that whole mishap. And I used my only Reviser Seed, so unfortunately we can't use a Reviser Seed during, during stuff here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, my enemy's terrified. Um, put that stuff away. Yeah, petrify enemies. Yeah, so maybe I'll do something like that. That's maybe what I'll do. Okay. But yeah, let's see. Are you your partner or members of the guild? None of the other Pokemon... Or none of the other Pokemon on your team aren't. None of the other Pokemon on team are. Gotcha. Yeah, they don't, uh, they don't count, I guess. What gummies do I have? Apart from the- oh, we have a lot of blue gummies! We're, uh, we're very ready on the blue gummy front. So... How many other seeds do I have that could be handy? Um, I could take another heal seed, I guess, or something. Have, like, a couple, just in case. Um, oh, I have four Reviver seeds in here, interesting. In addition to the two of my inventory. I only have one stun seed now, so, like, you know. I don't think I need a, a violent seed for the guild graduation, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> no, not this, whoa. Yeah, I don't have any boxes or anything right now. Um, what was I gonna, do? oh yeah, something that I was thinking about doing that might not be a bad idea, that maybe I should have done like earlier, is um, what if I do say, wait, um, yeah, proceed. Um, I just one Pokemon anymore, I doubt it. I doubt it will. Um, let's see here. So Imprison is more used to the Quick Attack anyway, so I could link those two together, but Quick Attack is extra range, so it makes sense to do it with Faint Attack. But Faint Attack has a whole lot more uses. Maybe I will leave Imprison on its own. I was thinking about linking Imprison into a move. I might stall. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look, a bot. Let's see which freaking mod bans it first. It looks like it's Guzma. That, guess that Carvia nerd is off the mod team. <laughs> my, oh my. Um, should I link Imprison into Faint Attack? 
Maybe I will. Sure. Whatever, let's try it. Um, <laughs> do I want to be famous? Of course I do. Heck yeah. I want to be so dang famous. I like all the monies we got from that little adventure there. Okay. Of course you do not. Why not? But why not though? All right. I feel a whole lot better about the inventory situation now. Let's go ahead and mix up some drinks is what we'll do. So this is um, ground type Pokemon. Whoops. So it was ones that's like super effective against you where you get like a slight boost. I don't remember. I don't remember how it works. Um, because you have so much controversy put on your head. That's how I already feel from my freaking Pokemon video essay that, you know, might potentially hit a million views. Last I checked it, it was at like 850k. In fact, like I haven't actually checked it in a little while. What's it even at now? Like, and there have been people who freaking hate my guts from uh, from that video. Because, oh my gosh, how dare he say negative things about Pokemon? No, I don't want to listen to my freaking channel trailer. What is it at now? It's at, it's at freaking 880,000 now, is what it's at. So, that's interesting. Um, my goodness gracious. Um, not traitor, cool. Um, there's something written on the bottom of the glass you just drained. Woohoo! It's a secret exploration spot that now only you know about, nobody else. You can now go to the lush prairie. Okay. Well, that's certainly something, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so I don't think I'd call ever really call myself famous with like the current state of the channel, but like, you know, they're, they're, the channel is, you know, getting way more attention than it's ever had before. And the, uh, the people who uh, hate my guts, well, let's just say some of them are very persistent. I'll probably tell the, uh, <laughs> there's one, uh, there's one freaking super crazy case in particular that I'll probably tell the full story of probably during like legends at some point. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, drink this and whatnot. Uh, put on unlisted what's your reason? One million views. Nah, I'll, uh, I'll pass on that front. Me thinks, but yeah, um, I may not do that. I need the, I need the freaking YouTube ad bucks after all is what I freaking need. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't, uh, EXP go-getter? The heck is that? Um, but yeah, the state of the channel, the channel is, does have, like, more attention around it than ever before. Heck, the reason that we're doing this playthrough is, like, as a, well, 10k sub special, so that's something there. And I've had, a, uh, I've, I've spoken with some people before that have told me, there's some, one person I talked to recently that was like, hey, it was great, to t it was really cool to be able to talk to a YouTuber as famous as you. And I was like, famous? What are you talking about? Um, so... There was, there was that, but, uh, hold on. Wait, I had more gummies. I didn't sort it. Gosh, tickety tart it. I was going to check the, uh, I was going to check the freaking, uh, IQ skill thing or rather we got. Um, but yeah, let's see here. You're getting canceled day one if you get famous, but the, wait, getting canceled day one if I get famous, but the catch is that you can't get canceled if you don't care. Can you not? Well, um, but yeah, let's see. I always tend to do that if a video game of yours gets too popular. Somebody put it on the list. Why? But why, though? What's the reasoning behind this, Guzma? Uh, the gold gummy has a right. Shake it this way, shake it that way. There's, but yeah, there's some people out there that say that I'm a famous YouTuber when I don't feel like it. And there's people out there that think that you're a totally famous YouTuber as well, Guzma. You're freaking, you're in that freaking group of uh, people super duper respecting you with like channel stuff it's crazy and stuff um had two videos that have surpassed 200,000 views and put them on listed because he wasn't too sad by this but how it turned out and the fact that i got so many views made you feel cursed that's kind of how i feel about the pokemon video essay like i have so many videos that have been like so much better since then and i'm working really hard on the brilliant diamond shining pearl video essay currently and i hope that it turns out a-okay but like so many video essays since my pokemon one have I've put like so much more effort into them and they are like such better videos in my opinion. But for whatever reason, like those are like barely even seen while well, that one's the one that, uh, you know, everyone and their mother seems to know about for whatever reason. So that can be a bit frustrating sometimes, but that's what happens when you roll the YouTube dice, I suppose. Every video is like a lottery ticket and it's just the way that it is. And that's another reason why I wouldn't ever call myself freaking famous. It's not like, it's not like people really know this channel. There's a lot of people that know me for like one or two videos, Pokemon or Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there's not, you know, a massive ton of people that really know the the channel itself. But yeah, people know me for a video. People don't know me for a personality. So learn. Wait, Harmonia learned the IQ skill. 
Oh, aggressor. It was on another line. I was so confused there. Um, but yeah, let's see here. This is hilarious, but based on your follow, think you followed during the last Sky playthrough, do you think? Because it was a, a little bit under four years ago. I can check. Uh, I think I can check how long. Uh, wait, following since July 11th, 2018. You are also there. You literally did follow during the freaking 2018 uh, <laughs> Explorers of Sky playthrough. Because the 2018 Explorers of Sky playthrough was July 11th, 2018 to July 15th, I think, off the top of my head. I think that was the date. I'm not 100% certain. I have to double check the uh, the freaking playlist information because I always list like the start to end date in the playlist. I forget what it is. But I'm fairly certain it's that though. So you might have potentially followed like on our first day of playing Explorers of Sky on this channel back in 2018. That's crazy. I know that freaking Lancer here also followed back when we were doing Explorers of Sky. It really just goes to show I should do some more Explorers of Sky on the channel, huh? Good thing we are doing more Explorers of Sky on the channel. Anyway, I'm just gonna really quickly check here and whatnot. So hold on, let's see this. Um, Pokemon comes very aggressive, so its attack and special attack are both boosted by one level. Its defense and special defense are both reduced by one level, however. Interesting. And the other one that we got was uh, EXP Go-Getter. Um, when near several enemies, the Pokemon will target the one that is worth the most experience points. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, hold on. Let's see here. Rule of thumb, if one video gets famous and nobody watches anything else, it'll always be one that you don't put a lot of effort in. I put a lot of effort into that video essay, but not nearly as much as other video essays, to be fair. There was still, like, a massive ton of effort that went into that video, but compared to some of the later ones, it's, uh, not as much. And compared to the freaking brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl one I'm working on right now, it's, uh, not nearly as much either. Um, so let's see here. Mystifying Forest. But yeah, let's see here. Remember how you made the Pokemon essay as a reaction to the brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends reveal? Yeah, that's what it was meant to be. There was the freaking reveal of brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl and Legends. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do my freaking dedicated Pokemon essay now. And now it's freaking being the way that it is. This is the way into Mystifying Forest. I don't know what we're up against. But anyway, we have to go to the deepest part of the forest and bring back the treasure from there. That's our graduation exam. Let's pass this exam and graduate from the guild. Let's do good, Harmonia. So yeah, it literally was intended as like a kind of reaction thing, Rebob of sorts to, uh, to, you know, to the reveal of both those games. And now it's suddenly become the freaking video that got the YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers. So there's, there's that. So like the reception on the YouTube channel is now way crazier than ever before. The audience that there is on the Twitch channel here though has remained mostly the same throughout all the years, which, you know, is another reason why I've debated about, like, maybe one day I really should become, like, a YouTube streamer instead of a Twitch streamer. Like, oh my goodness, you took a whole lot. Oh, come on! Um, how dare you. Um, one day I might potentially stop being a Twitch streamer and be a YouTube streamer instead. Maybe, maybe, because <laughs> that is the way larger channel that I have with a whole lot more of a presence. I probably have, like, a whole lot more people viewing the stream if I did that. <laughs> What an incredible number of bits there, Goose, but I appreciate the 68 bits. I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I would switch over to being a YouTube streamer instead. Like, I feel like with the channel at the size that is now, I feel like it's almost a given that if I did like live streams on my YouTube channel rather than Twitch channel, there probably would be, you know, way more viewers there. But I don't know. There's something just kind of chill about, uh, about Twitch stuff. Like, I feel like, you know, you don't also, you also don't get, like, as many troublemakers. I've seen, I've seen a few troublemakers. I mean, you get troublemakers no matter what freaking thing or Bob that you're in. But with my, if I streamed on YouTube, I'd be worried about those that are, like, super pissed at my Pokemon video essay and come in just to say that. Because they can just see that you're live and it's so easy. Or whoever the heck has, like, a grudge against you. Or whatever the heck. But usually those that are coming to, like, a Twitch channel are just those that, most of the time, are, like, genuinely really interested in a... And what's going on and like stopping by and hanging out with stuff live so uh you know even though i could almost certainly get like better viewership at this point if i uh was streaming on youtube more often than on twitch like I, there's just something that's nice about this it feels more like an exclusive club it feels like it's more like with friends or if i'm meeting new people it's with people that are more interested than might be the case on youtube potentially potentially it's not like that's a not like that's a given but that's just kind of one of the ways i feel i may still potentially switch over to youtube stuff especially if the channel continues to grow and i do start making a lot more of a job out of it since at this point it is basically like a business of mine at this point and if i do if i start prioritizing like hmm how can i like grow the channel the best and make the most revenue so that i can like pay for university i mean youtube would be the uh, smarter play but we'll see what happens. For now, I'm just going to keep on doing stuff on Twitch and be, like, super chill. But, you know, 
I, like, honestly, I feel like the day probably will come that I'll, uh, be a YouTube streamer. But for now, we're gonna keep on doing stuff on Twitch and, like, cutting up into parts and whatnot. Oh my good gracious, what the hell is going on here? Um, anyway, I'll catch up on the other things I missed here. Um, let's see here. Put so much effort into your Sun and Moon in a nutshell video has been up for several months and only has 1k views. I think, uh, my freaking, one of the video essays that I worked the hardest on was my use of history in video games one, which, uh, I spent like six months on and off working on that thing to like fine craft it into the state that it was in like at the end of the day. And uh, I think that one's one of my least viewed video essays like at all with like a few hundred. So, you know, that's kind of disappointing. But something that interesting that I found out about YouTube is apparently, apparently videos will do better when there's something that's like negative rather than positive. It'll do like a video on YouTube will do the best if it's something like negative, like super criticizing. It'll do second best if it's super positive, like saying that something's like the greatest thing ever and then like educational stuff like my video essay on like what's the historical accuracy of historical video games there is not a whole lot of interest in that so if i cared just purely about the numbers on youtube i'd probably only be making video essays criticizing things and never like praising things and never analyzing things like that one thing robot if all i cared about was like numbers and revenue and whatnot but but the whole reason i do this channel is because i want to have fun and stuff so that's actually super dumb it's just the way it is. People are more interested nowadays when it comes to YouTube. The things that people are most interested in clicking on and listening to just so happens to be stuff like that. Nobody's really that interested in educational content or stuff that's analyzed in that way. They'd rather hear somebody dismantling freaking Pokemon on the Switch or Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which is what I'm kind of hoping for with my Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl video essay, that maybe it would be able to carry on a little bit of the success of my main Pokemon essay because... Let's face it, that video did do a whole lot for the channel, both in terms of, like, numbers with, you know, getting the channel to where it is, in terms of freaking subs and stuff now, and helping grow the channel and whatnot, and helping get a lot of revenue for this channel that let me- that's because of that freaking video essay that I was able to afford the freaking $800 graphics card that's in my computer currently, that I cannot do without anymore. I love this graphics card. I'm streaming off the graphics card right now. Good old NVENC encoder. Um, Anyway, I'll uh, catch up things here. Um, Rescue Team DX videos, what got you into your channel? Yeah, my three most popular videos ever would be uh, Pokemon on the Switch first and foremost, um, then my Roller Coaster Tycoon video essay, and then my uh, PMD one. Those are easily like my three most popular videos I've ever made. Is easily the thing, and they're not even my best video essays. <laughs> it's the thing. Darn you! Freaking whatever. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Um, if you stream on YouTube, your hate mob will harass you more. This is true. This is also true, yeah, to, uh, <laughs> to call it harassment is not an understatement in the case of, like, one group in particular, at least, which I said I might potentially tell the story during, like, Legends Arceus stuff. I can tell a little bit of the story here, is what I can do, since may as well at this point. So, uh, after the Pokemon video essay, I've, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments sometimes that, you know, there are some people that do disagree with me, like, oh, I, uh, I disagree on this point, this point, and this point, and this is how, and they'll like form arguments and use evidence and yada yada, and you know, use well-structured arguments, and it's like, okay, cool. Um, and then there's some people that are just like, oh, I have to throw everything you've said in the freaking trash can. Nothing that you said can even be possibly considered valid. They'll be like, your video doesn't matter because A, you grew up, B, you're not the target audience, or C, you paid for the game that you played so that you could do a review on it, which is the- all of them make no freaking sense. I don't know why any of those would, like, invalidate your ability to have an opinion. But there's a whole lot of people that are really, really quick to jump onto, like, this you're not allowed to have an opinion bandwagon. Or, like, nothing you say is even remotely worth considering, because one of these things that they've, like, quickly- quickly slapped together as a reason. It's like, oh, this freaking video of yours, I, uh, I'm just gonna click it and leave a comment just to specifically know that nothing you say is even, uh, even possibly valid because, uh, no, don't you freaking dare. I'm gonna actually eat an Oran Berry here. There's a whole lot of situations like that. So there was one that I freaking received on Christmas Day that was like that, where it's like, it didn't, you just grew up. It's like, wow. Yeah, imagine somebody puts in freaking literally like a month of work into forming a video essay in like a cohesive and entertaining way to use evidence and arguments in a way that you know is understandable and people can enjoy you put all that work into it and someone just comes along and is like no no you're wrong nothing you say is even worth listening to because you just grew up 
that's it. It's that simple. It's that simple. Everything that you spent like a month working on, yeah, it doesn't matter. You just grew up. Nothing you say, nothing you say is valid. So I was super duper stunned that on freaking Christmas day, I got a comment that was like, it didn't, you just grew up. It's like, really? Even, even on a day like this, I'm gonna be receiving stuff like that. That's freaking ludicrous. So, uh, so when it came to that one, I blacked out the name and I posted a screenshot of it to Twitter. I was like, something's freaking never change. And, uh, because that's the thing that people freaking do sometimes. Of course, like the identity was hidden and whatnot. The name was blacked out. Um, it's not like there was any identifying information, but apparently, apparently this one person just apparently had like some weird obsession with me where they had to like check any of my other platforms to see what I'm doing or something like that and saw that. I got really, really mad about it to this day. It is currently the 18th of January and this the freaking situation is still going on. So, so they freaking joined the Discord server and I, uh, and I'm like, oh, th that was unexpected. Hi there. Um, and they freaking post the screenshot of, uh, of the comment without any, uh, without any names blacked out. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? And they said, trying to prove a point. I was like, you posted a screenshot of a comment. What, what are you proving? And then they freaking left the server. I was like, <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting a monster house here. So then they left the server. And then shortly after, I find that like one of their freaking friendos on Twitter has called out my channel by name and labeled it as hashtag cancer. Hashtag toxic, hashtag cancer, and hashtag like some other things I don't remember. Um, and I freaking asked about that. I was like, huh? What did I do? <laughs> Literally what happened. Uh, let's go ahead and use the petrified orb, I suppose. Um, and they were like, oh my goodness, you said all these things that are wrong and you freaking bully anyone who disagrees with you. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I was so confused. And then I, I was having a big think about it. And I was like, wait, is I realized like 10 minutes later what they might be referring to. I was like, do you mean this? And I posted the screenshot. Yeah, I'm clearly a menace to society. I posted the screenshot of what happened in Discord. And uh, I was like, do you mean this? Of the person coming in, posting a screenshot and then freaking dipping out moments after. And they were like, yes, you freaking bullied my friend because he disagreed with you. And I was like, how are you talking about? Uh, how is that bullying? What? I asked them why they were posting a screenshot and I gave a sarcastic reply to their you grew up. So I reply. So the comment originally of like the you grew up, I gave like a sarcastic reply of like, oh, yeah, this company resorted to like underhanded tactics and like bad business practices all because I grew up. Thanks for letting me know. Apparently that counted as bullying. That was a uh, apparently that counted as bullying. So there's one. So this one guy was just like, oh, what freaking disgusts me is people like you that bully anybody that disagrees with them. It's like, what? that didn't even happen. But, uh, and they, so they say that that's what disgusts them. And I was like, you know what freaking disgusts me is people that throw around words like, like if they throw around, I can't freaking words today. People that throw around labels like cancer when I actually have somebody in my life who is dealing with that and it's a very serious situation but some people just have no filter and just throw it around so I told him that and I freaking he never responded to me was the thing uh, never responded to me about that and uh, well shortly after that it seems like he had taken back to his page once again to post more things about like what an awful content creator I was um, so I freaking sent like a Twitter DM and I asked, hey, what's going on here? And they blocked me. They blocked me right on the spot, just like that. Um, so, oh, I actually ran out of bites. I thought that, I don't know what the heck I was doing. Um, so they blocked me. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that's, uh, that's the end of that. But it seems like this one person that like initially got super slighted by, uh, <laughs> by, by, gosh, diggity darn it by that initial situation had like a few freaking friendos on Twitter because a few of them were in the uh, in the thread and coming after me being like, oh my goodness, this acoustic harmony is literally like the worst guy ever. Oh, freaking darn it. Um, let's see, I might have to use one of those max elixir. Oh, I should just use focus punch a bit earlier. Um, so I, uh, I was talking to like the initial dude in like the comment thread and I said like, this is like the whole situation. 
This is why I gave the sarcastic reply that I did, because I put a whole lot of work into this essay and, like, forming, you know, logical arguments here for you to just throw it in the trash can. If it's something that you actually seriously want to have a conversation with me about, then let's talk. But if you don't want to have a conversation about it, then this is where it ends, and we won't be talking again. And they, they just responded to me like, good counter-argument. They didn't actually say whether they wanted to have a conversation or not. So I didn't, I didn't ban them at the time because they didn't give me an answer, yes or no. So I was just like, well, maybe that's the end of it. I guess the situation's over now. A couple days later, they, uh, they appear in one of the uh, Twitch streams that I'm doing. And they're like, hey, really sorry about the whole situation that went on. Sorry that that had to happen at all. I hope that we can put it behind us and yada yada, stuff like that. And I was like, hey, don't worry about it. It's all in the past now. We can move forward. Forget about it. It's A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. Hope you're doing well today. Hope it's a good new year in 2022 so far. Stuff like that. Um, and then I see, like, I don't remember if it was later that day or if it was, uh, or if it was like the next day. But I found out that it seems like on my, uh, on at least my Pokemon video, so I don't know if they take into other videos. Anybody that seemed to have a good opinion of me on the video and being like, wow, I have a lot of respect for this person and the, uh, and the video that they made and whatnot. They clearly put a lot of work into it and are like super passionate and such. Um, anybody that'd be like that, yeah, they'd have to, they'd leave a reply comment being like, you wouldn't have such a respect for him if you find out that he bullies anybody that disagrees with him. So, they freaking came into the stream to apologize, to save face, to make it look like, look like they could be in my good graces and not get banned, while they could secretly defame me in the background while they think that, you know, I wouldn't notice. So I banned them from the YouTube channel, and it was like, okay. Well, now that's the end of it. Okay, now the situation's done, I guess. Wow, interesting place for that dude to spawn. So I thought it was over. It wasn't over still. Um, so, uh, so I got pinged by like another person on Twitter saying, my friend has something to say to you. There's more, yes. I got pinged by somebody else on Twitter that said, my friend has something to say to you. And uh, it was this freaking long essay from the initial dude that, it was basically this whole thing, Bob, where it was like, hey, sorry about what happened, but the way that you handled things was really immature to be bullying anybody that, like, disagrees with you. And the fact that you're dwelling on this so long is really, really sad, but I just want to leave this all behind us and, like, move on. So I blocked the person that pinged me. Like, oh, gosh, diggity darn it. Um... So it was like, a, so, you know, it was very clearly the kind of person that wants to get the last word. But I, I was just like, I'm done with this. No more. I'm not even going to respond to this. I just blocked that person in question. So then I was like, OK, now the situation is done with. Now the story's over. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I was wrong. I was wrong, apparently. There was more. So there was... <laughs> It seems like some of his pals had come into the uh, into the Discord server, and there was some uh, there was some uh, some mischief going on there. We'll say, and uh, there was another person that like had taken to Twitter as well. It seemed like where uh, I I remember I was making like a kind of joking tweet about uh, it was before the holidays and. The, I was going by uh, GameStop to get some games for my games for my cousin's kids and whatnot. And the uh, the GameStop employee had recommended me to get the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl double pack. And I was like, no, let's not, considering, you know, I'm making a whole freaking, it's gonna be like a two hour long essay on everything wrong with that game. And also the freaking crummy business practices behind it that are really, really crummy. Like the fact that they put half the game behind the day one patch so they could ship it out on the smaller, cheaper cartridge sizes, which is so dang messed up. Um, stuff like that. So I got them other games. So I, so I posted a tweet about that saying like, yeah, the GameStop employee recommended me that. And I was like, huh, no. Um, and somebody responded to that being like, but Harmonia, why would, uh, why would kids care about what, uh, what kind of Pokemon games they'd get? Or why would they not like Pokemon games? And I was like, wait, who is this? And I checked the, I checked the account and it was somebody that doesn't follow me at all. It's somebody that was in like the initial thread from like Christmas Day way back when. And uh, so that combined with not following me, I was like, oh my goodness, this is one of those same people of that group that uh, I guess like they couldn't have been alerted to my tweet because they didn't follow me and they didn't respond to it immediately when it happened. It was like a week later or something like that. 
Um, so that just meant that it was someone from this group that just likes to scour my freaking tweets for funsies to see if there's like anything in there that they can gotcha me on or something like that. So if it was anybody else that was like asking that and asking it as a legitimate question, I totally would have responded and explained the situation and whatnot. But someone from this initial group who I have evidence for is just, you know, scouring my freaking timeline from time to time to see if there's some way that they can catch me. I, uh, I was like, no, I'm, I'm not getting involved with this. I just want this situation to be done with and have nothing to do with it anymore. So I blocked them. It was not, it was still wasn't done. Um, because shortly after, shortly after the YouTube channel hit 10k subs and, uh, it sounds like high schoolers have nothing to better do, probably. Um, yeah, I, I've blocked this user on Twitter. I haven't reported them though, but, uh, it wasn't over. It seems like one of the, uh, one of the people that infiltrated the Discord server either was that person on Twitter or was someone else. So it was shortly after we hit, uh, 10,000 subscribers that, uh, and we were like celebrating the Discord server and a whole lot of people were like really encouraging and nice and like, wow, congratulations, Harmonia. Like that's, uh, that's really cool on uh, doing that. And you like, and people saying like some really cool, really inspiring things. And, uh, okay, so it was that, uh, it was that. Yeah, that, that would add up there. And there's one person who I guess had just gotten blocked on Twitter, um, comes in and is like, so, do you, so you're like blocking people on Twitter. And I was like, what? And they were like, I said, so you like blocking people on Twitter. And I was like, huh? You, so you're a part of that initial butthurt group from like way back when? And they were like, butthurt? No, I'm just calling you out on your bullshit. Like they were being like, oh, I'm like the one person here that's like confident enough or brave enough to like call you out on your crap. They said something along those lines. So I banned them from the Discord server. And I thought that was the end of it. It still was not the end of it. Earlier today, I get a freaking another friend request from the, uh, from that one initial dudo, the person that first commented way back. Also, the initial person has started making alternate accounts to post on that, uh, that video. Like, I guess I can't prove that they're alternate accounts, but considering the name starts the exact same way, and it's a profile picture of the exact same Pokemon, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty obvious that, uh, the initial commenter that got, uh, that got super butthurt at me has started making alternate accounts and has started commenting on that Pokemon essay again with said alternate accounts, which I have also blocked from the channel. <laughs> yes, earlier today. In fact, while, uh, I noticed it while we were, uh, while we were having internet issues earlier, and I was, like, checking my phone for notifications. They sent me a friend request, but they cancelled it. But I did take a screenshot of them sending me a friend request, so, you know, the evidence is, the evidence is still there, because I had the notification on my phone. It is also worth mentioning that before that one person in question sent, like, the, uh, super long essay through their friend on Twitter, they had sent me friend requests, like, a couple times, each time of which I had ignored. And then they got their friend to send that paragraph through Twitter, to which that person got blocked. And now, earlier today, they've been sending me friend requests again. It is currently the 18th of January, and this is from being butthurt about something that happened on freaking Christmas Day. It's still going, and it's been nearly a month. Like, I, uh, <laughs> most ineffective cyberbullying ever. It's certainly, it's certainly something. I'm so flabbergasted. Like, in all my years of content creation, I don't think I've ever seen, like, any person slash small group of people so insanely obsessed with me. Like, it's ludicrous if they're, you know, doing things like checking my new tweets to see if they can, like, catch anything on me. They're sending spies into my freaking Discord server to, like, infiltrate it and, like, gather intel. Like, uh, like, there was one person that joined the Discord server that was for, uh, seeing that was for checking out the situation and for giving the initial person my discord id so that they could send me a send me a friend request but on talking to them they were like oh yeah that uh and hearing my side of the story they were like oh my goodness i need to break ties with this group <laughs> is the is the thing where bob and uh and wound up having like a whole long conversation with this one dude so like one of the potential spies that went into the discord server had their mind completely changed and were like, yeah, I, uh, I really got to break ties from that group. Holy crap. There really is nothing wrong going on here in this, in this community. But, but yeah, so for the past several weeks, it's been the kind of thing that hasn't really been mentioned around the channel a whole lot. 
But in secret, one of the things that's been going on on the channel in the background that myself and the mod team has been dealing with is a freaking group of emissaries that are like that have like made it their new life goal to take me down because I gave a sarcastic reply to somebody that said that like my whole Pokemon video essay was invalid because I grew up. Imagine that. <laughs> so there's that. Who knows? Maybe at some point they might be watching this. Who knows? If you, if, if literally, I can't word say, if said people of said group are watching said thing, can you just like stop and get a life maybe? Go freaking bother someone else? Like I'm <laughs> just trying to play video games and have fun and hang out with people. Um, so yeah, make a video telling the story that'll get views and piss them off more. It's almost tempting. It's almost tempting. Um, but yeah, you've had that happen many times in your early days of YouTube. Yeah, I've heard you, uh, I've definitely heard a couple of the stories that you've told there, Guzma, and it definitely sucks. And it definitely really shows that, like, some people just really have nothing better to do, I guess. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if we're listening, it's a YouTube comment, not the, what's the potato war? Mortis understands the ref, I don't. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say I don't understand the reference. I see Cyril there redeeming absolutely nothing. Hope you are doing well today. You just missed a, you just missed us telling the story about like the worst case I've ever experienced in content creation of people who freaking hate my guts for my Pokemon video essay and a situation that's still going on until today. You missed the story. Um oh well. But yeah, should have told them that them making that comment to begin with was all right bullying in the first place. What? Being like Nothing you say is worth listening to because you grew up like it was it never said that specifically But saying you grew up like that's explanation and throwing all your freaking work in the trash can being like yeah Nothing here's worth listening to because here's this idea that I came up with that clearly invalidates anything you have to say Then yeah, it is kind of It is that <laughs> Heard about that last time it's still going. Yep. It started on Christmas Day and it uh and this group is still trying to reach me. I freaking got a f I started getting friend requests literally earlier today from from one of them that's still trying to reach me about it. And it's like, just stop. Just move on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's just see here. And why not? Funniest quote you've read from a hate comment happened today, actually. I've unsubscribed from your platform as I can never trust another thing you say as I might be seriously misled. I wonder, I still, I think I have my favorite YouTube comment I've ever received somewhere around. I know I've shared it on the channel before. I wonder if I can find it again. Um, but yeah, I thought you being honest with your opinion was the right thing to do. Yeah, that's what I was. I was freaking honest with my my opinion, but some people don't like that and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. But that's far from like my favorite comment that I've ever received. I wonder if I do have my uh, my freaking thing, Bob, my favorite comment that I've ever received. I have a few like good ones around on my... Uh, my computer, do I have my freaking favorite one of all time? The one that's like the freaking word gibberish. Where do I have it? Do I even have it on my, uh, my compooper? I might not. Hmm. Hmm. Darn it, maybe I don't. Darn it, there's one that's like a whole freaking mess of words. And, uh, oh, dang, I might not have it. Or maybe, maybe I do? Hold on. Where is it? Oh, I do have it! Oh, yes, my freaking favorite comment I've ever received on my channel. And it was on that Pokemon video. So I know I've shared it on the channel before, but for anybody that hasn't seen it before, I'm going uh, I'm to share it again here. Hold on. Do I have just like a normal display capture? Or maybe I can just, uh, maybe I can just switch to something like this layout for a hot second and turn on my, uh, turn on my display capture. Yeah. Hold on. For anybody who isn't familiar with it, let me share my favorite YouTube comment I've uh, I've ever received. Let's see here. Here it is. I get I have liked new game, but Rush product also came during the holidays and pandemic. Are you forgetting all over fucking had shut down make do didn't sick COVID-19? Baby, that can game developer then get and just so everything. The way going wailing about when people die or hospitalized makes more than any wailing monster than could do any if no understanding of fucking pandemic, you fuck asshole. Those human monkey are undernourished obligations to work bloody for you, pandemic do actually or that too stupid. That's my favorite YouTube comment I've ever received, straight up. I'm uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> That's a, that's a golden one right there. You like that one? <laughs> I think... 
Like I've I've received some pretty good comments before, but that uh that's a freaking golden one right there. That one's always gonna be in that's that one's always gonna be in a special place in my heart. <laughs> you arrived at something very special there, Mika Blaze. Oh man, <laughs> don't know why, but panic cabin cracks you the f up. Yeah, there have been there have been a couple times where I talk about the pandemic with like some friendos. You know how I have like joke terms for some things like friendos. I just said that for example. I've sometimes adopted panademic as a joke term for pandemic, and it's because of that comment, straight up, is the uh, thing. But yeah, big does Bruno Mars is gay energy right here. Yeah, it really was. Um, but yeah, I gotta start calling people that from now on, Lancer. Oh man. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed the uh, you missed the finale of the game. <laughs> such i'm sorry we've stayed on this screen for so long but uh my head off to sleep right here all right well i appreciate something by hanging out guzma i hope you enjoyed the uh finale of our main story pokemon mission dungeon explorers of sky stuff i hope you enjoyed our storytelling storytelling stuff but yeah um still this is a close second to to do uh to how formal it is i've unsubscribed from your platform as i can never trust another thing you say as i might be seriously misled yeah, that's a that's a pretty good one there too. Getting really tired, don't know how long you stay up for. Really want to see the Grandmaster of All Things Bad, but don't know how long this talk is gonna go on for. We, that that's the story. We'll uh, do the Grandmaster of All Things Bad. Um, <laughs> we've come a long ways into the forest. Luminous spring must be coming up. Oh, Klexos, Harmonia. What if what if the title of this video had something to do with like, but the real Grandmaster of All Things Bad is the one who doesn't ever let you go no matter how much time passes because of a YouTube comment. Um, that there is the true grandmaster of all things bad. Hi, Ted, here's the nursery. You're here too. And has to continue reaching out to you like freaking every few days. It feels like in one form or another. We often come to play here. So how's it going? Do you see your grandmaster of all things bad? No, but he's been trying to see me a lot. No, nothing like that. See? I told you that you only heard a rumor. Why are you two here? Are you in search of that Grand Master? No, we're not. We're trying to find Luminous Spring. No, oh, Luminous Spring. That's just up ahead here. Oh, really? In fact, we were on our way there. We want you to, want to come with us? Yeah, come with us if you want. And they conveniently go around that. Yeah, the the real Grandmaster and his lackeys are just like the freaking group of kiddos that are like obsessed with me and trying to like do everything they can to get to me. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Let's go. Let's go with them, Harmonia. But yeah, let's uh, let's see here. I had to continue your Binding Blade Iron Man when I saw you going to Prime Cade. Then lost you immediately. I'm sorry to hear about that Pika plays. Um, the real Grandmaster of all things bad is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> This is... was that a pitfall trap? We fell down a pitfall trap. That's what happened to us. Oh no, the hole! The hole's closing up! Oh no! It's pitch black! I can't see a thing! Are we trapped? What? Someone's here! Who's there? Who are you? Welcome to the world of Twitter. I am the Grandmaster of all things bad. What? The Grand... Grandmaster of all things bad? <laughs> Not only the Grandmaster, but more of us besides. A bunch of us minions of the Grandmaster are here. You can't see us in the dark, but you're completely surrounded. <laughs> You'll never survive Twitter. <laughs> Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to- Uh... What? Wigglytuff? And everyone else? What's going on here? Hey! Bidoof! Why did you take the cover off? Uh, wha- Whoops! <laughs> B but I thought it'd be too dark down there for you all, so I opened it up. Maybe I did something I shouldn't have? I'm helping out with the graduation exam and all. This is all so new to me. I don't have the foggiest idea about what I should be doing. Oh, what a foss. Say, Wigglytuff, please, can you tell us what's going on? Who's Wigglytuff? What? I am the Grand Master. I know nothing of your so-called Wigglytuff. What? 
that's right. And we're the Grandmaster's minions. Oh my gosh, that is so right. I don't know any Pokemon named Sunflora. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to face the terror that is the Grandmaster of all things bad. Yuta. <laughs> well, um. But yeah, so this is a. Uh, this is the Grandmaster of all things bad. Wait, how many thing robbers do I have anyway? I have some quick seeds. Ooh, why should you use a quick seed? I only have the one stun seed apparently. Um, Chatot's probably gonna come like right over here, I imagine. Um. Oh, you can start with flamethrower on like Crocunk then. So what if I just like charge this up for a hot second? <laughs> seriously, like still like to seriously think that there's a completely different group that actually isn't Wigglytuff's guild. <laughs> Who knows? This should be where Chatot moves, right? It boost! Get freaking one punched Chatot. Uh oh. Maybe I should have brought like more revivers. <laughs> you failed with protect. Uh oh. Please miss, please miss. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, I hate Earth Power. Oh no. Maybe I should have brought more than two Reviver Seeds. I'm starting to realize, oh, that's really not good. Oh, that's literally all my Reviver Seeds. Um, um, I think, uh, I think that's all the Reviver Seeds I brought in here. We might have to redo this dungeon, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I should have brought more. Whoops. We might have to redo the dungeon. Um, yeah, they definitely seem pretty darn dangerous there. Um, um. Uh, you like the idea that they are a completely different group? I have no idea who Wigglytuff and the gang are. Okay, so, um... Let's see here. I guess I'll just hope this hits. Fingers crossed! Because I don't want to use two turns for Pokus Punch. Okay, good. Alright, no more Corphish. Fine, you use Defense Curl. It's fine with me. Oh, no, that's really not good now, is it? Oh, that's really not good. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh man. I might have to actually redo like this whole thing. Um, which really sucks. Alright, yeah, okay, I can't be drowsy though. Um Okay, and yeah, there is the uh Oh crap. Oh wait, but non-sleeper, so that's perfect actually. So it's actually great, as a matter of fact. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. I've no more reviver seeds, so like, yes, thank you for like imprisoning different ones. That's very good. Crocunk is storing energy. You're doing bide though, right? Or like you did the beyond thing, more Bob? Hold on. Okay. There goes Chimeco. Yes, cool. Hmm. It's the best way to handle this, huh? I'll do this, I suppose. Okay, so they're no longer paused. Oh, so that's why Klexus moved, because they weren't exactly stopped there. Use Revenge. Oh. So if I just do this, so I'm willing to use a couple turns here, I suppose. Corfish shielded Loudred. Oh, there goes Loudred anyway. Or wait, Loudred shielded Corfish, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh oh I have one more Oran Berry. If you can someone pull this off, you'll be incredibly impressed. I feel like we got this. Right? Okay, come on. Come on! You believe me, Blaze? Okay, there goes Sunflora. Yes, keep on using Imprison. Yes! Corfish can't move. Okay. I know that it'll be not very effective, but like, whatever. Okay! Okay! Well... Yeah, the Imprison very much clutched there. Oh, that wasn't enough there. Thank goodness for Imprison! I don't even need to select, like, flamethrower stuff. I'll just leave him prison on. Well, there we go! <laughs> there we have it. They got me! Everyone run away! <laughs> Squawk! Eek! Hey, hey! <laughs> My prison is busted. <sighs> so, uh, what was that all about? I guess it's all right. We should move on. Let's go to Luminous Spring. <laughs> well... What I like your Iron Man run. Well, I won. Okay, um, cool. I really should have brought more Reviver Seeds. I totally lucked out there. Holy crap.